hello lovelies welcome back welcome back my name is Tumi, and i share about my lifestyle in canada because i am a recent canada immigrant so we are all in this together so i just want to share my list with you this is not um all encompassing of course you can tweak it according to how you like it i actually use this list there's this telegram group i am in and i was overwhelmed i didn't even know where to start from but thankfully people were sharing their list and all that so i also like used part of that list to like form my own list when i was coming to canada but i'll give you a close at the end of everything because i use that list but everybody at the end of the day has like their peculiar journeys and everything i see a lot of things going on about and like oh don't bring this one bring this one at the end of the day it all really depends on you like i use the list but i didn't follow it to the t because i was kind of like a rebel <laughs> if you understand for people that have seen my like what i brought to canada i brought a lot i brought a lot of food i brought a lot of clothes people would top um I brought a lot of food i brought a lot of clothes people will typically tell you oh don't bring clothes you don't need them i brought i didn't bring a lot <laughs> i am a clothes person but i didn't even bring up to like one quarter of what i have but i'm so glad i still brought a number with me for myself for my family for my kids because we came in april and that was like the time that um it was like spring going into summer and trust me for like five months we wore all our clothes from nigeria i didn't have to like rush to start buying clothes for the kids so i normally see that i hear that people will start giving out everything it depends on you some people were like oh that's a lot to cost a lot i actually shipped i shipped a lot of things and it helped me by the time i landed in canada my shipping came in like six weeks after and it was really pretty fast so i had almost everything with me i brought my pot and everything guys let me leave the explanation until later let me allow you concentrate on the list so when you're coming to canada this is primarily for canada you can use it too if you're going to the uk or any other country but i believe it can help but you know i am in canada so i'm doing this on behalf of those that may be coming to canada and this is like for a family person if you are single you might not need as much so of course like i said nobody even needs to tell you you know the one you need is just to have like a guidelines something to even use so that it's not that when you now come you're not like oh my goodness i wish i brought that thing and some of these things don't even really weigh much you can just quickly buy something just trick it here and there but that thing you will need it so let's start with food elubo number one on my list elubo is yam flour i am yoruba i take a lot of amala if you follow me on instagram you know that i take amala almost every day i brought a lubo with me a lot and i'm so glad i did i've not had cost to buy it over here gari yellow and jebu gari i brought that one semolina if you're not the semolina semovita it's in person you can skip you get it whatever at the end of the day it is you dry pepper of course smoke fish i brought plenty catfish i brought a lot of that in fact i gave that one as a contract to someone i didn't even just buy from the market all the people that do like their smoked catfish i gave that contract to someone and i'm so glad i still have a lot of that in my freezer dry fish all that you can bring panla grounded crayfish cameroon pepper seasoning cubes i brought that and all the things I brought with me, I was ready to declare, but nobody asked me, so I did not declare. Indomie noodles, iru for iru. I didn't bring the wet one. <laughs> that thing can smell. <laughs> I didn't bring the wet one. I bought, and they helped me to like dry them in the oven. So like when I was coming, thankfully I had people at home with me, like my nannies and all that. So all the things I wanted to process, they helped me process them. And I will share a video of how I brought some of those things. I put them in Ziploc bags. Everything I brought were in transparent bags. Nobody asked me, but I just felt it should be in transparent bags for me so that I'll know what was inside each bag and I labeled everything accordingly. I have a video on this channel that shows all the food I brought so I can still leave that link so that you can see that. Iru Ogiri for those, I didn't bring Ogiri. I don't usually cook with Ogiri a lot. I use it for my bitter leaf soup, but I've not cooked bitter leaf soup in a while. So for you, if you need that, you can bring Ogi. <laughs> I brought i brought pap 
I am a packed person. I brought a lot. The dried one and the fresh one. The dried one, I usually get it from one fantastic woman on Instagram, Mama Oluki. I will give one of the best. I'm not, I'm, as in, I'm saying this for free. I will give my daughter that was struggling with cereal. She took a lot of that. Okay. She still takes it. I still bring. If I know anybody coming from Nigeria, I tell them to buy for me. All these things, you might not be able to ship them. So it's usually like best when you're traveling and you bring that with you. So I brought fresh pap. I did that with myself at home. And I brought dried pap as well. Golden one. Beans. Of course, my beans. I picked everything. Like I said, I had people. So they helped me pick all. I think I bought like... I brought like almost seven beans buckets of beans honey beans the normal beans and they picked for me what we now did was we put bay leaves and pepper to like get rid of all those like beans pests and all that so we put bay leaves that thing helps for to get rid of pests pepper there's this kind of pepper that you can put in your beans and um bay leaves to help you obono yeah um a goosey yes Milo, I didn't bring Milo. Nobody in my house really likes so, but that's beverage depending on the one you take. Coconut oil, I didn't bring that. I felt I could get coconut oil here. Shea butter, I brought that. Red crayfish, white crayfish, you know the big ones, they are the small ones like normal crayfish and the edekupa, the red crayfish for soups. I think it's really, really good. Pepper soup ingredients, yes. Aboniki, people bring aboniki. I didn't bring aboniki, but there's one that if you've ever heard of this one, please let me know in the comment section. Erarike, that's the one I brought. If you are Yoruba, you might have heard about it. It's becoming popular now. People use it for like body aches, pains. My mom uses it and she's like, told me this thing is ha, it works. So if you know anybody, they don't really sell it in Lagos. They do. People are bringing it into Lagos right now. But if you stay like somewhere like Oshun State or Don or Ondo State, like all those like not village but like those places in Badon, you will get it there. It works. It's just like the work of a boniki but it's not like as peppery. You won't even know but just put it on your body and you say just pour water or something. I've never used it before. I've not had it cost to use it but they say it works i brought a lot of that my mom uses it and it works for her a roarike that's what they call it we can bring a boniki a way do all these ones i brought the dried ones of that a way do um uziza i brought all the dried ones of that bitter leaf i brought all of them afang tazi i brought all of that in ugu i brought dried leaves then bring your omorogun if you are yoruba your tonic stick the scoop if you want hair accessories so your spices expression attachments people put this is somebody's list that i'm looking at anyway but like i said you can tweak it so the person was writing 20 if there's really no you don't know how much you need brazilian wool if you want roll on you might not need to bring roll on maybe just the one you use for like in your toiletry bag you can get roll on here herbs and spices if you if that's your thing granuts kuli kuli robo pots so they put ugu kazi uziza or ha bitter leaf i mentioned all that before they didn't mention some things here let me remember the things i brought that they didn't mention here i brought zubo leaves i brought cloves i like all those things so i brought that in case there's anything else by the time i'm editing the video i'll put it down i brought quite a number of things just you no know, things that you feel you will need nobody knows like my own diet is a lot more different so things that i felt i was going to need and have food too food that i eat because of my diet two i brought two i eat a lot of that because of my own peculiar diet so things of course things that you know that are peculiar for you so people take plantain flour is not mentioned here so you just bring whatever is peculiar to you and for you it's not in it's not exhaustive medications you might need to bring medications this medication on this medication side i am on the fence i'll do like a proper video later on you might and you might not need it i'll tell you in a different video i don't want to like bore you with this one now so i'll break down the medication parts later on and on how it affected me and for how i use it for my family so if you want the medications you normally use you can buy some of that like antibiotics i've not had cause to use antibiotics since i came but 
everybody's different do you get anti-malaria you might not need it for a long time but maybe the initial period the anti-malaria i came with i have not used them but like i said i'll do a proper video on medications very soon multivitamins cough syrup loratidine loratidine is like um anti-allergy it helps like for those that have sniffles like sneezing coughs is like anti-allergy i use that i bought that paracetamol atadine prednisolone i can relate to this one because i have children that have been diagnosed with asthma so i can relate with that some people that don't know what asthma is might not even know what the medication is so like i said all this is just like a guideline it's not exhaustive whatever it is for you for those that probably have like ulcer they might need to bring a few medications on that i have gastric reflux um I don't see disease <laughs> so like medications for that my omeprazole i brought a few of that like just to help me um but like for me lifestyle since i came to canada most of these things that were disturbing me in nigeria even for my children i've reduced i would do like a proper video like i said so it's plus minus <laughs> everybody is different at the end of the day you might need it you might not need it i'll come back to that so personal effects your transcript ah of course you need all that your transcripts you might not have that but let's just say transcript is something that you might not have in your hand they usually send it to like your school or something but we understand what they are saying here your certificate every certification you've had nyc everything of course you won't leave that behind your medical records dental optical I'll do a separate video for this too. I want to address something on dental optical and um, I did a video before for like when you want to put your children in school, you need your, you need their immunization records. Very, very important. Even if paraventure you misplaced it or they don't have it, just go to your health center because that happened for my first son. Like, you know, when you're going to different hospitals and you don't have everything together, my husband had to go to like one of the hospitals. We had to start looking for the record for like 10 years ago because you actually don't need them. Especially if your children are going to daycare to schools, many of the schools they ask for them. You just need to have like a history of how the child has been and all that. Driver's license, driver's extract. I will do a video on this. I don't want to talk too much because some of these things like need a lot of elaboration and all that. So I don't want to like um overflow the matter i will do a different video on driver's extract i know a lot of people have been hearing about driver's extract driver's license i'll do a proper video on how you can do that very soon so but this is just to mention like very important documents that's the first thing you should pack i'll advise you even put that in your hand luggage when you are where you are putting your either your study permits or your work permits or whether your pr your cupr in your hand luggage please your reference letters anything your cv anything all those your important documents put them there then some people put family albums and pictures <laughs> it depends on you natives few summer clothes yeah i brought plenty sha. i brought natives the person puts here that starts giving out the rest i gave out a lot i sold some i gave out sha. i gave out a lot and some are still in my house back in lagos to bed sheets, towel, sponge, soap, to brush, and yes, I agree with this. If you've not seen, I'll put a video somewhere. I brought bed sheets just like to lay bed, but that bed sheet was very important for me. When I first landed and came to this house, there was nothing, nothing in my house. Like the windows were bare. Okay, they were windows, they were blinds, but like the major one in the living room was just bare. And you know the way it is in Canada, you sometimes you can just walk into a store and just order this thing. Like we ordered it and it took like almost 10 days to arrive, like the blinds we ordered. We have to use bare sheets to like hang. I, 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 have, I think I have a video somewhere. I'll put it somewhere. We have to use bare sheets. So thankfully we had that bare sheets. So some people might say, oh, don't bring anything. Those things might come in handy. And like what my mom will say, like things are expensive. Expensive not just for the monetary value. Expensive for the fact that this is like Canada. You won't just come out and you see it will shop. Somebody said me something. It might take you like another how many minutes to go from point A to point B. It can be really be frustrate, frustrating to get something. And 
you understand so but if you have those things immediately with you it might help you to like just salvage that situation so in that case you can bring like yes i can call the best shit i got from lagos i am not using them presently but did they help me yes did they save the purpose when we first came yes like we even used it as like it was still a bit chilly when we came that was what we we're using to cover our bodies so you might need a little bit of all those little little things toothbrush toothpaste please pack i know those things are sold here but you need like at least you need to brush your teeth the following morning that you've landed is it you won't start going to go and buy a toothbrush toothbrush of one dollar you can't start taking twenty dollar cap to go and buy a toothbrush so you need paste you need to brush all those things of course we all know this now toiletries basically um few shoes and sandals depends on you uh, medication here yeah, you said that one or two suitcases blah 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 person wrote let's remember that houses abroad are small so don't go and crowd your house with stuff you might never use i agree it depends on you think of the things you will use and think of the things you never use like i would not it's not cast in stone i wouldn't use myself as a benchmark i am a different i am i've been a content creator for about eight years i had to bring things i create content with it might not be applicable for everybody some of the things i brought some people were like why are you packing so much stuff but i am so glad like i am being very honest and sincere here 95 percent of the things i brought i absolutely need them and i use them almost every day like it's i'm happy in fact there's some things i'm i'm like why didn't i bring this thing but i'm happy my ring lights all these things my tripod i have not had cause to buy because i brought everything my tripod i brought them from nigeria so i wanted something that i could be familiar with like who just like puts me in the flow and that's why i brought some of these things so it depends on you so there are many other things like people will say t-shirts jeans formal shirts formal trousers all these things it's just like a guideline undergarments you know that one now nobody should tell you to bring on that way formal suits if you're not a suit person you don't need to buy suits tie my husband has not noted a tie in that many years, so it all depends on the person. Shorts, track pants, swimming trunks. I brought that. I've been swimming with my children. Yeah, towels. I brought a few. Yes, because like you're landing, are you buying towel the next day? No. So, hand towels, leather belts, woodland or weather shoes. I don't know what that is. Like I said, this is a list of what somebody puts in one of my groups sneakers sport shoes you can buy when you get here the roots optional sunglasses socks sweater a light jacket i would advise especially if you are coming this video that i'm doing i'm doing it in the winter period you need jackets i've put somewhere before of where i bought jackets when i came i'll be sincere i know somebody mentioned it on my instagram page and was like ah those jackets they are nonsense guys i have bought jackets for my children correct jackets since i landed canada like very correct jackets Moi told me I have not really bought jackets to be very honest as of today it was minus two the jacket I brought secondhand jacket I am still rocking them it's not everybody's cup of tea I understand you can't you can't compare yourself to me you can go all out I'm just saying that some of these things you actually need them in on my Instagram page I also put it like oh you might buy jackets from so 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 and so please I put the secondhand store or the market I went to and the person was like oh god forbid those jackets they are lying blah 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 and I was like, but you need something. Is it the day you land that you're going to start buying jackets? As they're coming out from the airports, the cold that will first slap you, you will wish, even if, at least have something. Another important thing is to layer up. Like, if you layer up properly, you'll be fine. Like, wear your gloves, just wear thermal wear, just layer up. Even all those things that we count as bad in Nigeria, it is better than nothing. Like, don't even just say, okay, when I get to Canada, I'll come and buy jackets. Yes, come and buy jackets, but come with something, even if it is one or two. Especially if you are landing in December or January or February, even March. If you are watching this video and you are planning till now, to land from now till April, please buy jackets. Don't let anybody tell you anything even if you don't want to go to and another reason why i go to those second hand markets is because i think i find their quality better than the brand new ones that is that is for me that's what i think personally and second hand does not always mean like oh it is bad some people wear jackets and because they don't like the color they toss it away they don't like the shape on the, the feet on their body they throw it away 
it might not be at par, it might not be 100 percent but it is better than nothing that's the thing then that's it for me that's my personal opinion everybody does not need to agree with me okay flip-flops handkerchiefs bed sheets we mentioned that before pillow mm -hmm. covers some people bring duvet if that is what if you can ship your duvet why not so people believe that the duvets in nigeria are better than the ones in canada have i bought a duvet in canada no did i bring duvet from nigeria yes my yes yes some people actually believe that it's not as warm but it's it's okay for us we are it's okay so far it's okay for us i've bought a few blankets here but at least i brought from a few one maybe one or two from nigeria i had that with me brand new duvets that i never used before and my mom my mom buys all these things my mom is like we buy all these things my mom stays in the uk by the way so my house is always like we always have pillows blankets duvets and all that so i brought a lot of that with me when she was coming from jan as well she brought a lot with that i was like mommy you're coming to canada you're bringing duvet how but you know mothers <laughs> i was like no problem i'll collect everything bring it do you get so it depends on you at the end of the day it is you nobody is nobody don't let anybody it is you it is me do you get it so shoe polish monkey cap i don't know what that is what's monkey cap i don't know but if it works why not yeah pillow covers yes so yeah that's it like i said i have a i had a different list unfortunately i can't even remember where i wrote my list but i just had like i think i had it on my laptop or something and i had a lot that i was working with i just looked around the house oh what did i think that i'm going to miss what do i think i need i brought all that with me let me just even look around is there anything there for kitchenware i brought quite a lot with me and all that so another thing i will tell you is you can bring food i brought food because i just thought about it it's the same um thing i have in my head like once i land i have children young children are we going to start we actually like bought we actually ate out a lot and that took a lot of our money but sometimes that was because of convenience like oh, okay what am i eating in the morning afternoon night and because all of us we are two man that's when kids will not start remembering that they need to eat this one eat that one eat that one so we actually ate out but at the same time we've had food which i am so grateful i brought if you've not seen that video please go check out that video video please go check out that video so like okay you, you might need to like bring i know some people might say don't bring this one don't bring that one but if it's but if it's going to help you settle down within the first few days by all means if you can bring it even if it is to bring rice bring rice especially when you have children or something some people don't like all that stress and hassle i understand everybody is different i keep saying it's like i don't like to use myself as a benchmark everybody is different some people look at me and they're like tell me why are you disturbing yourself yeah but for me i was glad i did i brought rice and those things helped me like raw rice like i didn't bring a lot of course because i know i'll find rice here but i was just like okay for the first few days <laughs> Please don't judge me. For the first few days, if the students tell me that they are hungry, will I start running to start ordering food every now and then? So I brought soup, I brought meat, I brought chicken. Like there was food in the house. And once, if you are landing, let's say you are going to like an Airbnb or you are going anywhere, at least there will be a fridge in the house that you can store the food in. So that that really helped. Even though we didn't have anything to sleep for, we didn't have mattress, we didn't have anything. At least we could eat that was there so that can be available for you if it's if you need to bring salt bring salt anything that can make you like comfortable for the first one week or first few days you might want to bring that just look at your luggage look at the one that is priority i know for some people clothing is priority for some people food is priority someone told me and i'm so glad i listened like when i was coming my router was like told me bring your clothes so there's food here and i am so glad i I listen to everybody. Those that told me to bring food, I brought food. Those that told me to bring clothes, I brought food clothes. I, I, I didn't want one to be more than the other. Anyone I felt was going to be too costly for me, I shipped. Shipping is a lot cheaper than like cargoing them air cargo. Air cargo is expensive, but I did air cargo, I did sea cargo as well. According to my priority, my priority was first class, second class, and third class. First class was one that I came with as I was traveling. Second class was air cargo and third class was sea cargo and I just like segmented all my things like that because another thing why I brought some of these things for me was 
for me personally it was cheaper for me spending naira than spending dollars so like i said everybody is different we can't i can't use this person's own and judge my own i can't use a person's own and judge my own it's just like a guideline for me it was cheaper for me to ship with naira to spend i shipped almost 200 kg worth of stuff and it was not the amount i spent was not up to 120 was not up to 150k and that made sense a lot of sense in my opinion like pots if i was to buy pots now i brought my pots i brought every time i cook with those pots people ask me oh, where is this pot from my mom gifted me i never used it i just kept it somewhere in my store in lagos and i brought those pots with me like a brand new if i was to buy that set of pots in canada today <laughs> Only God knows how much I will spend. I brought my blender with me, my American blender. I bought that one in Yankee with the plug. I've heard of some, I've heard of some people that say they even bring their blenders with them from Nigeria. Naturally, it won't work, but somebody that I know shared that there's a step-down charger you can buy from Amazon. So I'm just saying this for those that ask me too, that, oh, can I bring my blender? Can I bring this electrical device? I would have said no, but somebody actually mentioned that okay, there's a step down or connector you can use. You might have to like research on that. I don't use it on how so you, with the Nigerian plug, you will now buy that step down and connect it and you can use it here. So that person said that's how she uses a blender and it works fine because you can imagine buying one blender of 100k in Nigeria and leaving it behind. I know how it is. So if you want to ship it down, you can ship it down. Shipping does not take time before you blink. And one thing I can also advise you to do is, I will advise you to ship a lot of your things if you can. If you know your trip is in January, ship now. So that by the time you are landing, your shipment and you, you are landing at almost the same time. I couldn't do that but I was, because I shipped like a day before I traveled because I was overwhelmed with a lot of things. But I'm so grateful because my shipping didn't take time at all. I used 244 foods, it didn't take a lot of time. And in six weeks, shipping by sea, sea cargo, it had already gotten to Toronto, it had gotten to Canada. So yes, that's it guys. If I remember any other thing, as at the time of me editing this video, I'll just put it somewhere. And yes, so in conclusion, you know yourself you know your family you know what you need i know people that bring a lot i know someone that brought bag of rice i won't judge that person okay you don't that knows you don't that knows what is peculiar for you if the only thing you eat is your father rice it might be difficult to find your father rice here and it might be expensive so bring your father rice don't let anybody judge you if your cup of tea is your fashion bring your clothes they don't get clothes for canada i will say that one they have clothes but it's not like Lagos. it's not like you kid you understand i love clothes so i brought all that so it's like a, it's just like a guideline it's not exhaustive at all you know what you want you know your priority act on that and just be doing it little by little i've also found out that if you put everything at once it might choke you it might overwhelm you just be doing it little by little and you'll be fine okay so thank you so much for watching this video please share because somebody might need this Somebody that is planning on packing and does not even know where to start from, this person might need this. Bring your clothes so for children, not everything, but at least, excuse me, you might need some. My children still wear their summer clothes. It's just about all layering up. You might even need that. The cardigans my children used to wear in Nigeria, I brought everything and they are still so useful right here. So, if you think they would need it, they might actually still need it. Sneakers, everything, don't stash everything away, they would need it here. And you don't want to start buying, buying, buying everything all at once when you get here. Guys, I forgot to mention, please bring skin care. Bring skin care. I can't say this enough, bring skin care. I thought I brought, I thought I had what I wanted, but I still had to bring. Anyone that you think is okay for you, that your skin agrees with, is 100% for you, bring it. Because, because Canada might, or your skin might be affected in Canada. My skin was, and I had to start using the products that I was using back home. Some of this product that I wanted to use here did not really help me. And um, someone that I'm, um, I'm not, I'm big on natural skincare. So natural skincare is the way I really tend towards most of the time. I use like other like cosmetic products as well, definitely, but I tilt towards natural skincare as well. So I have to like bring some of that. I have to like find some here too that could help me. And that's how I started to clear my skin. So for skincare, I would also advise you to like bring that with you. 
male female whatever works for you please have a little bit of that so that just in case the weather does not agree with your skin or it start breaking out and all that you have something to fall back on thankfully i'm so glad because everybody in my family had one level of skincare issue or the other my kids that's when i knew there was like there was a problem like so it's not for me to say okay maybe i was doing one product on my face or something even my kids all of us went black from the beginning we went very very dark we we're very 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 dark rashes hyperpigmentation a lot my face went through the most so i would advise you to like come with things that you feel can easily help you i'm not saying that i'm not praying for that to happen but just the way you buy medication to have skincare like that too at the back of your mind yeah thank you for watching i'll see my subsequent videos bye